Hello, I'm Michael Roy, Technical Marketing Manager for vCloud Hybrid Service here at VMware. vCloud Hybrid Service is an exciting cloud offering from VMware that delivers a true and natural extension of your data center, expanding the reach of your existing infrastructure, tools, and processes from your on-site data center to hybrid cloud. In this quick demo, I'll show you how it's possible to automate the end-to-end -end delivery and management of applications using vCloud Automation Center and vCloud Hybrid Service. vCloud Automation Center version 6 is a leap forward in the area of heterogeneous cloud provisioning. It enables a more natural approach to hybrid cloud by integrating off-premise infrastructure back into the data center and allowing users to provision workloads to the cloud in the exact same way that they provision to their existing private environments today. Let's get started with a demo. So the first thing we're going to do is get logged into the vCloud Hybrid Service Portal. When we first get logged in as an administrator, we see we have access, in this case, to multiple clouds in multiple regions. I have two virtual data centers, plus a disaster recovery data center in Nevada, and another one in Virginia. We'll go ahead and drill into the Nevada data center. Now within here, we have a bird's eye view of all the different virtual data centers, but the one we're going to focus on today, we've called vCloud Automation. So when we go into this virtual data center, we see we have some CPU, memory, and storage allocated. We can also take a look at our networks and our gateways. So that's fine and dandy, but what about workloads and virtual machines? As we can see, we haven't deployed any here yet. So in this case, as an administrator, I could use this. However, my end users within my private data center don't have access to this. So how would they? Well, they're where vCloud Automation Center comes in. As we can see, we have the catalog here. And within the catalog, we have these templates and blueprints broken down into applications, custom services, and development infrastructure. In this case, we're interested with the vCloud Hybrid Service web application. So this is actually a Linux virtual machine that will live inside of the vCloud Hybrid Service. We can go ahead and make a request for this virtual machine. And we can adjust some of the properties here. So for example, if we wanted multiple virtual machines, we can request those. We'll add a description and a bit of a justification for this request. We're working on a really amazing hybrid application project. And we'll submit the request. So in this case, we have the approval process automatically approving our workflow. However, in the real world, what would happen is this would end up on the desk of a manager who would then approve this request. So for me, the end user, I can look at my requests. I can take a look at the web application that I've requested. We can drill into some of the details here and see things like when it was requested, who it was requested by, and the status. So we can see that the status of this particular request is in progress. So because of the synchronicity of the VMware platform, if we take a look at the vCloud Director installation behind the vCloud Hybrid Service, we can see that this workload is actually almost already provisioned. If we do a refresh here, we see that the workload is actually in the middle of powering on. So there we go. So we've just requested and deployed and powered on a virtual machine within the vCloud Hybrid Service from the private data center. And if we look at it back into the portal, we see that same synchronicity. So we can see here that the virtual machine is powered on and is living inside of the vCloud Automation virtual data center inside of vCloud Hybrid Service. And if we refresh the request, we can see that it's no longer in progress. However, it has been successfully completed. So if we take a look at our items tab, this is where I, as an end user, would actually interact with the virtual machine. Because I don't have access directly into the vCloud Hybrid Service as an end user, we can use the vCloud Automation Center portal to actually interact with the virtual machine using VMware Remote Console. So we can get logged into this particular virtual machine, which is running inside of the hybrid cloud, from within our data center, and we can get to work. When your off-premise and on-premise infrastructure platform both support the exact same workloads without the need for porting, rebuilding, or conversion, you can realize the benefits of a true hybrid cloud infrastructure. For VMware vSphere customers, there's no better extension of your data center to the hybrid cloud than vCloud Hybrid Service. Thank you for watching. For more information on vCloud Hybrid Service, visit vcloud.vmware.com.